So let's convert this decimal. We have 0 0.222, and it just keeps going to a fraction. And here's how we're going to do it. We could take and just call this x. So x equals 0 0.222, and it's repeating. And now what would be really nice if we could take this and get to have a whole number in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by 10, because that'll give me 2.222 repeating. But I also have to multiply this by 10, too. This is algebra, right? So 10 times x is 10x, and then 10 times 0 0.222 repeating is 2.222 repeating. So it's looking a little better. We have a whole number here, 10x over here. We could, if we could subtract the end off of this, if we could get rid of that, we'd have a whole number. And that would be really helpful. So I'm just going to subtract 0 0.222 repeating here, but I also have to do it to this side. And here's the trick. Instead of this, 0 0.222, that's equal to x. So I can just say, let's move this over, 10x minus x. Because remember, x here is equal to this. So we did it to both sides. But now, 10x minus x is 9x. And then here, this part right here, we subtract these. This is gone, equals 0. And now we have 9x equals 2. Divide 9 from both sides there. 9 over 9 is 1, so that cancels out. x equals 2 ninths. So when you have the decimal 0 0.222 repeating, you can go through this process here, and you end up with 2 ninths. You do need to practice this a few times. It's a little bit uh, involved. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.